Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Like that. I've got 5,420 litres of lime right now. So I will bring this one over here. Lime is in this first section, so I need to go like that. Just want to double check that I know which one the lime is in. Start. I don't even know if I can do this, whether I can actually have it course play loading lime from a shed like this and buying the stuff in. I don't know if that's going to work. It's going to be interesting to find out. So I'm not going to run the course from here. I'll run the course that I make up here. Uh, well, I'll start it from up in the field. So I want to go over to the field and then I want to start the course. So I'm only going to just go out the road here onto this field. Right, there we go. Let's close that one down. Onto that field there. And then... I can set it all up. So we go out this way. And I'll get into the field. So I want to be on the field. The actual course that I want to do going backwards and forwards for loading, that's going to be a different course, isn't it? And that's the one I don't want to do that from on the field, do I? I want to do that from beside the field. So I'll bring you over here. I'll get that one. I'm, I'm going to mark that one out right now. I'm going to turn around here like this. And I'll bring you over there like that. And I'm going to start this course from here. Right? It's close to the edge of the field. And then I'll finish the course over there. So I don't want to be starting and finishing the course anywhere close to each other, do I? They're, they're supposed to be kept separate. So let's go and have a look here. I've got... That one, fertilize, start course recording, copy course, course generation, calculate field, edge path, uh, transfer, drive start to finish, leveling. I don't want either of those. Pretty sure this is the one that I want. Transfer right there, start to finish. Setting. Uh, advanced settings, AI, when to raise, when to raise, oh, I've been told I should have that, raise late, lower early, means that I'm less likely to have little bits left at the ends of the fields, and back over here, load courses, scan fields automatically, course play workers earn wages, okay, Right, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, we've got speeds from recording. It isn't a... And what about there? Debug channels, name and course. From recording. Is there one that's going to tell me what the... Align with first waypoint. Pathfinding. What crop I'm using. Right, I don't know, so I'm not, I'm not actually going to mess around with that one. I'm just going to leave it like this, and then when it runs out, then I'll worry about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto here, like this, bring it into the field, like that, right there, and then I'm going to do it from in here. We've got that one right there. I'm going to go course generation. This field that we're actually, wait, what field is this? One, two, three, four, five. This is field six, and that's field seven. No, that's five. Four, five, six. That's seven, and that's eight. Right, I'm on field seven. I haven't done lime, so that's a different width to anything else. So I need field seven. Yeah, field seven. Lime is what this is going to be. So uh, course generation. Is it, I wanted to find out the, the name of the field there. Field seven user. Field eight is the long one. And then we will go... That's fine. Skip rows, multiple tools. One working width, 18 meters. Put that down to 17.8. No, 17.9. So there's ever such a slight overlap on it. And then I will go with the headland, and I will do two passes on the headland. 
And then the corners, I will go round, turn, radius. Up, down, generate field course. There we go. Right, that should work all okay. I'm hoping. Uh, start course at first waypoint, right there. Drive course. Right, off you go. It's left a tiny little bit in the corner, honestly, that doesn't matter. That's coming along quite nicely, actually. Uh, that is going to work fairly well, I believe. I, I see no reason why it won't. The only thing is going back and refilling the lime. Although, we do have 19,000 litres of lime on board this spreader. So, we will get a good chunk of the lime done on here. So, it's not like the, the be-all and end-all. It's, it's, it's not going to make massive difference. I'm not going to worry about that bit up there. I just need to lime this field and this field. So, this one over here now, that's the next thing that I want to start working on. I want to get that one seeded with canola. That's what we've got to plant in there. We want to plant canola in there. And... Right, well, I'll leave that one going for a minute. I don't want you. No, I'm just... I'm gonna, Actually, I'm going to go with this one. We'll go with this one right here. But it's whether I want to use that seed drill or whether I want to go for a bigger one. I mean, I've got this one now completely filled up. Just so that it was all ready to roll. But I'm actually thinking I would prefer to sell this seed drill already and go and buy one of those Amazon ones. The Amazon ones are a tad expensive. But at least then... Oh, it's 224000 I don't have the money to buy that. Even if I was to sell this one, I still don't have the money to go straight out and buy that bad boy right there. Which is what I'd like to do. Do I have... Can, can I get some more loan? Can we increase the loan even further? Yes, I can. Look at that. Right. We've got a 2 million euro loan already. I'm going to get more money. I'd like to have... Well, I'd like to have four seed drills on the farm. I'd like to have two planters and two seed drills. So I will bump this up by another half a million euros. It should be enough to buy all the drills that I want. There, 2.5 million euros, which gives us 600,000 to play around with. So, this one right here, I'm going to unload this one. Oops, right, stop there. And that is all unloaded. Then I can take this one and we can go over to the shop. So, I run over to the shop. The only thing I'm not sure of is how to have... Oops, I didn't actually mean to do that. How to have the... Seed drill being brought back to the farm and reloaded with seed using course play. I don't know if that is an option. Now, one thing that I can do is I can change the setting in the game so that I have worker buying seed and fertilizer while he's working. That obviously would be a lot more, a, a, a lot, a lot more simple. Is a lot easier, but. Even for this series, which is less about realism and more about large-scale stuff, it's still reaching a point on being unrealistic that I don't particularly like. I would rather find a way to get the seed to the vehicle and have it being reloaded than I would not using it at all. That's, that's, that's my personal preference. Um, all right, I'm going to just jump out of there a second and take this one... And sell back. So that's 91,000 right there. So that gives us 700,000. Which means that I'm now in the market to go and buy two of these. I don't actually need two at the moment. Because the ground it's going to cover is going to be pretty quick. Um, but I'm going to buy two anyway. I'm going to buy two of those. Just like that. And back out of here, and then uh, back again, and I'm going to want to go to planters now. I've got one cultivator at the moment. So now we've got planters. That one there is an 18 meter width on that horse one. That one is a 12 meter width. The Vardestad right there is 12 meters, which is pretty good. That That is pretty good. The Great Plains over here is an 18 meter. It's a very wide one. Um, although that's a... U 
I've never heard of Great Plains. I'm not sure that you would really find those outside. I don't think you would find them outside of the US. And that's why I'm very reluctant to take that one. This one here, however, is outside of the US and in the US as well. And I know that, you, you know, that they are obviously, they're going to be interchangeable. Taking this Vardastad over here, same one, but with the Stevie treatment so that it takes all the other crops, but also um, has an increased capacity, might be a better thing. That one's 9,000. That one there is 9,000 as well. It's just one is a 12 meter width and one is an 18 meter width. I'm thinking a 12 meter width might be better. Like, looking at this. It's still mostly seed and a little tiny bit of fertilizer on there. Hmm. I can only afford one of these at the moment, unless I go and get even more loan. Let's get that. Alright, let's, let's go with the 18 meter one. We'll go with the standard 18 meter rather than using a Stevie mod this time. I will buy that one and I will see what it's like. It might be that that is too long and it's not suitable. It might not be. It might be absolutely all fine and tickety boo and absolutely wonderful. On the other hand, it may be absolutely appalling and not in the least bit suitable for anything that we want. But we do at least have two of the seed drills that we can use right now. So we're going to put Skittles onto this first one and we're going to run it back to the farm. We're going to put in 3,000 litres of fertilizer and 5,000 litres of seed. That seed is not what we want at the moment. I don't want barley. I don't want oats. I want canola. It's going to be in the big field first. We will do canola in there. And as I've got this one, I've got both seed drills the same, both 15 meter seed drills. Once I've set a course up now for the field, that's all we're going to need. We won't need to do anything else. And I don't think I've got a suitable course for that field for seed drilling anyway. Now I'll run into here like this. Bring it on round. It has been suggested that if I want a proper series where it's all like, you know, go big or go home and we're really trying to get everything that we can all running ourselves, I should be using more additional mods to make our own seed and stuff like that. And yeah, that could be a lot of fun to go and do that. Because um, there are ones that you can use where you make your own, you dress your own seed with fertilizer um, or herbicide or something. And so you have you have them all dressed and presented and it, it works out really well. Right. I've got room for a bit more fertilizer and I'm going to have room for more seed after doing this one. I very much doubt that we're going to need to actually um, refill this one part way through planting. I mean, we might, but I'd be surprised because we've got an awful lot of seed on board, right? 5,000 litres of seed this thing will take, which is an obscene amount of seed. It's an absolutely obscene amount of seed. And fertiliser as well is pretty good. We got 3,000 litres of fertiliser in here as well. Time you get all of that up there, I don't think we're going to be running out. And if we are, it'll be one trip back to the yard. And so I just don't think it's really worth bothering with make, you know, getting a course set up, running all the way back to the yard and, and stuff like that. I, I don't think it's something that we need to concern ourselves with. Not really. I'll put that one up to there and load up the rest of the fertilizer into there. Take that up to 3,000 liters. And then I move over to the next shed and seed. Fill that one all the way up there. So that one is full as well. Then we can close that lid down and we get off out to this field. I can see on my screen, up in the top left hand corner, that the quad track is 52% still remaining. Which is pretty good going. 52%. I'll run this one up here. So I don't need to worry about him for a minute. Right, that lime does last for quite a while. I'm going to bring you over here into this field, and then we're going to unfold this one. I'm going to stay right where I am. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to let that one unfold like that. And then we're going to see about setting up a course in this field for the brand new field. Now, I don't know. Uh, manage courses in here. So this is field six. I got field 6 slurry, field 6 temp. Temp, 
I don't know what that one is. So I'm going to get rid of it. It says, loading it up. Field 6 temp. Uh, field 6 temp doesn't seem to be anything at all. So I will go to there and I will clear it. And then I will go in here and I will remove field 6 temp from the list. Slurry load field 6. Oh, that was actually going slurry load 1. I'll worry about that a little bit later. Right, there's no courses that I want to load in here. So we're going to be going fertilize and seeding right there. And I'm going to calculate current fields edge path because I'm not sure if I've done anything since I did the new bit of plowing. So calculate current fields edge path like that. And then put that on the field six. Because that's what this field is. Overwrite field 6's edge path in list. There. I've now got that as field 6. Course generation. I want to go field 8. Which field 8 is the one that the quad track is in right now. Field 7 is that long one over there. Field 6 is this one here. There's 5. There's 4. 3, 2, and 1. That makes perfect sense. And current vehicle starting location, current vehicle position. Yeah, we'll stick with current vehicle position like that. Uh, bypass islands. Simple circle. Right, bypass island on circle. Skip rows. No working width is 15 meters. I always knock it down a little bit so that when it's going on hills... Um, but then I, I explain that every single time I do it. Headland passes. Now, we got a 15 meter width on this thing. I think two headland passes is probably going to be enough. But I will do three just to be on the safe side. And then headland corners, I'll do round turn radius. Uh, or just turn. I'll do round turn radius. I, I, I don't know what that means. I, I still don't know what that means exactly. Somebody has explained it. They probably slap their own... You know, it's, it's probably a facepalm moment every time I say that I don't know what I'm doing. I was, for a minute, I thought it wasn't actually working, but it has worked. It has done it. It's managed to figure it all out. It's doing wonderful. It's, I think the island in the middle did throw it a little bit. It's looking pretty good, I think. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just go there. Oh, that's why. Right. What I will do... I'm not going to save this course yet. I suppose I should have saved the other course. No, I'm not going to save this one. I'm going to reverse up here. Like this. So that I can actually have that corner of the field done up there. I'm going to get rid of this one completely. I'm going to go back to course generation in here. I've got everything there that I wanted. And then generate the course again. Do that once more. This time, that's much better. I'm hoping now that's actually gone into the corner properly. Because it wasn't in the corner just now. So I'll come out of there. I still don't think it's gone into the corner properly. Maybe it's because I got round turn radius. That doesn't look like it's gone in... T Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Course generation. Turn. I'll try that. Generate field course. Three headland passes. I've put turn in there this time. That looks like it's gone into the corner a bit further this time. That's better. That's much better. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, start course at first waypoint. Let's just check here. Working width 14.9. Turning circle auto 13 meters. Vehicle convoy. Fertilizer function of sewing machine activated. I'm quite happy with those numbers. All right. Let's try this. 
Oh, I'll save this. So this is field six sowing. So we'll do sowing for ones like this, and then we'll do planting for, obviously, for the other ones. And we'll see if that does actually work. So uh, drive course. Right there. You should be planting canola in this field. And it should go up to the edge of the thing as well. Right to the edge of the field all the way round. So the other one, it didn't want to go right up to the edge of the field. It's not gone to the edge of the field there either, unfortunately. I said turn. But it doesn't look like it's doing quite the turn that I was hoping it would. So even course play does have its um, bad bits. Like that over there. It's, it's not properly filled in on all the corners. Most of it is going all right. But it's not properly filling everything in. I got another seed drill so I can go and set another one up. This one is now working absolutely fine. We've got the canola being planted in there. That's what we want. So let's go back through our other vehicles over here. You have gotten that far across the field. You don't have enough in here to be able to finish this field, though. So what I said was lower, uh, raise implements late and lower early. So it will start a little bit early when it comes to doing things like the fertilizer and things like that. I'm going to stop driver a minute. And I'm going to run back to the yard and I'm going to refill this one because it's only on 20%. I don't have enough. I'm 90% certain that I don't have enough to be able to finish this course. So if I run back to the yard, we'll load back up with lime. And then we can run back out again. And then I can leave that one to finish that field. Then I can go and get another tractor, put it onto another one of the seed drills. And we can get it out and we can start that one going as well. It's this field that we're working on that we want to plant next anyway. I want to be able to get that one planted with barley. So I'll bring you to there and I will open that one up like that. And I will do that and I will start. Yes. In here. This one is going to be one. I want to plant that one with barley. So I'm just going to do the fertilizer on that one and then I'm going to leave it. The fertilizer with the planting and then I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about doing those couple little bits with the extra fertilizer. I don't think we really need to concern ourselves with that. That one's going to be planted with corn. That one's going to be sunflowers. So both of those jobs are going to require a planter to do that. Which means that I can just carry on and get this one done. I could put a cultivator going in one of those fields. Although we've actually already cultivated those fields already. So I don't need to do anything else to them. They're literally now ready to go with the planting. So I, I don't need to touch them at all. All I want to do... Um, yeah, so I won't touch them at all. I, I'll, I'll leave them completely. I, I won't have anything to do with them. I'm curious about the grass in these fields. It's mid-spring at the moment. So we shouldn't... The grass shouldn't be ready for mowing yet. Not at mid-spring. I suppose I could check that. Go there to there and then click on grass so that we get that one up. Growth is very first growth uh, ready to harvest across the entire map. So no, it's not ready just yet. I want it to have one more growth stage, which depending, I, I can't remember what the grass growth is like on this map. If it's pretty quick, then... The transition from mid to late spring will give us another growth stage, in which case we can start doing our first cut silage in um, late spring, which does fit because a lot of people will start doing silage that early on. Because you've got to remember the first day of summer is actually in June. And here in the UK, certainly, a lot of people start their site will be doing silage in May, which is late spring. So that's, that is quite a common thing. Current waypoint next closest drive course like that if you could start yep you are spreading ideal right that one will continue on there let's go and have a look at our other tractor a minute and see how we're getting on we're coming along the lower edge this is the bit that i was really curious about is how well it was going to do down here 
It's leaving little tiny bits along the edges of the field where it's not quite sort of registering all of the edge of the field. For the most part, it's no issue. It, it, there's no problems. And you can see also the layer of slurry that is there that we had from when we did you know, all that slurry spreading that we did all across the field. You can just make it out. It doesn't show up very well, but you it's certainly in the ploughed land. It, sh it shows up a lot better than the rest of it. But everything seems to have gone fine around there. And you look here, I've got no bits missing. There is a bit missing up on that corner and on that corner and on that corner over there. It's on the next round that I'm curious. What's it going to do the next time around? Are we still going to have something similar or not? One thing I will do now is I will get rid of these. I don't want them hanging, hanging over me anymore. Um, yeah, I'm curious on the next time round, is it going to leave great big gaps or not? It shouldn't, once we get onto the land work, we shouldn't have any concerns with big gaps being left. But going around the headlands, it does seem to leave gaps. That does seem to be a bit of an issue. Like, and I reckon it is... Yeah, it is. It's going to leave a slight gap right there. And then it's going to go over here. And the course, if I remember correctly, it didn't, like, have a, a thingy where it would lift out and do anything. Yeah. It's just going to turn like that. So it's going to leave a chunk. It's left it like that. So it's left a chunk behind. The next one, it will actually pull up to the end, stop, lift, and then turn the vehicle round but it's not going to for these bits but at least it's planting and it's doing a really good job of the planting and I got that one going up there so while that one is going and I've got the other bits I got to decide what tractor I want to use do I use an articulated tractor for the next one or not I think that I'm going to and I'd like to use this one I think I'd like to use the T9 for this particular job so we're gonna have to run over with the T9 over to um the shop grab that sea drill and then bring it back you know what i'm gonna do this a little bit faster i'm gonna go like that with my t9 right there i'm gonna click on that one and i'm gonna reset that one yes uh it's in use you used to be able to do that you used to be able to do it while you were sat inside the vehicle let's try that again there reset yes right just a little bit faster it's not a huge amount faster, but it is a little bit, and it does make a difference when we are trying to get a move on. So we will bring that one back into here. Now remember, this field right in front of us, this one's going to be sunflowers, so that's going to require a planter. Same as the corn, that I think the sunflowers, they plant earlier than the corn. Now have a look at that. I'll, I'll wait till I get back to the farm before I have a look at that. Bring you along this way. And I'm going to stick to the track. Uh, tempting though it is to go up that side and use that track. I'm going to go on this track and we'll run into the farm in through the back entrance. And then once I've gone in the back door, I will get this one loading up. And then we can just have a look at... What was it I wanted to have a look at? Um, oh, the planting dates for sunflowers and corn. I'll have a look at the planting dates for both of them. Because if they are staggered, it's very likely that we will plant one one day and then plant one the following day. In which case, we're not going to want two planters this year anyway. Um, I mean, it's probably a little bit extravagant getting two of these. However, I feel that was justified because the field that the planter is in at the moment, that the seed drill is in at the moment, is a very, very big field. And we also do want this to be running fairly quickly. So I'll just put that one into there. Like that, and then we will nudge forwards a little bit, and like that. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode, so we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.